Hello, hello, hello everybody, I am Shimmering Shadow and today we're back for some more Kiss of the Petals, remembering how we met a lovely visual novel set in um, what I'm presuming is the high school. <laughs> I think it was high school, yeah. Uh, between his lovely Riza, who's looking for the other person. So yeah. <laughs> If you have not been keeping up with the story, this is a story-based game, so please do check the link in the description. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, start from the beginning. It's a very good place to start. Without further ado, has reached the sun. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why did that go? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we hear the line. Ah, uh, where the heck did she run off to? The community meeting was about to start any minute, and Nia-san was nowhere to be found. She promised in front of everyone that she would do it, so I figured she would actually be responsible and follow through. How naive could I be? Mia-san was who she was. Such high and low, any place I thought it was likely she might be. <sighs> ah, there you are! Jeez, what was she doing all the way back here? If I hadn't been looking closely, I would have totally missed her. Oh, Risa-san, what is it that has you so out of breath? The committee meeting for the tea party is about to start. Don't tell me you're planning to skip that, too. Tea party... Oh, yes, that. Yes, the tea party. Tea party. Forgive me, it completely slipped my mind. Hmm. Huh? As you may be aware, unlike certain individuals, I did not volunteer for this duty myself, so I'm not particularly invested in it. <laughs> well, cry about it the whole past all you want. Won't do much good now. No need for snime remarks. <laughs> I'm not certain what you mean by that. From where I sit, you're clearly the superior individual. <laughs> it truly is a remarkable person who would volunteer to be on a committee of their own free will. <laughs> you definitely sounded sarcastic to me. You even volunteered yourself to be the class representative, didn't you? Oh, well, that was just how things turned out. But when the teacher finally entrusted it to you, you were wearing quite the satisfied smile. What do you mean, satisfied? Blah. The way she said it made me feel like some kind of teacher's pet. Hmm. I think you are. <laughs> Her tone was really irritating me. Really 
so happy at that moment, Risa san that anyone could be so pleased to be class representative. Uh, something I never realized until that moment. Couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> laugh? Wait. Ah, that, that's right. When that happened, I did remember me as smiling next to me. It was back when she was still responsible, though, or at least that's what I still thought at the time. Really are one of the rudest people I know. <laughs> and you are proper to a fault, Risa san. Jeez, that was uncalled for. Anyway, let's go to the meeting. Well, don't tell me you're not planning to go. Yeah, I don't suppose there's any way out of it. Of course there isn't. What was she thinking? Her level of irresponsibility was astounding. Astounding. Don't say that. You at least have to come for today. That means you're not gonna come again. <laughs> Please don't say that. Just let it slide. Please. Nope. No, a thousand times no. Hmm. If you look the other way, I can make it worth your while. Don't be tempted, bad girl. <laughs> worth my while, how? The next test coming up, I can tell you what will be on it. Huh? Y y y you can? If a student of her caliber was offering to tutor me, it would definitely help out on a test. Then I was bound to get a hundred next time. What do you say, Risa san? Well, I... No, I, I can't. Absolutely not. I will not be bribed. I was close. I almost let her seduce me. Come to the dark side. We have exam papers. <laughs> Doesn't quite draw many people as well as cookies, but it works on her. Can't be bought that easily. Lisa, be careful with your language. That suggests that if you do two or three, she'll be bought. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But you made a wise choice. I rarely ever attend class, so it's helpful I could predict what would be on the tests. Yeah, now, now when you mention it. He sends high test scores were a result of her intellect. Plain and simple. Nothing at all to do with predicting what would be on them. Allegedly. Well, anyway, let's get going, Mia san. You at least have to show up today. Yes, I understand. On giving her response, she began to walk. I followed closely behind to prevent her from trying to escape. All things aside, that was really bad just now. For a second there, I was about to put myself in Mia-san's hands. Yeah. 
That's right. My test scores need to be a result of my own hard work and dedication. <laughs> what sort of brave pep talk are you giving yourself back there, Risa san? It's nothing. Come on, just hurry. You make us both late on the first day. And what? How should I respond? Couldn't come up with anything that I thought would scare me or Sam. Never forgive you as long as I live. <laughs> Understood. As long as you live, you say? Yeah. I could have said something so childish. Self loathing wasn't doing me any good. Well, then, we must absolutely must not be late. Huh? To have one's last rep hold a grudge against them for the rest of their life is a harsh punishment indeed. Come on, I'm not that unforgiving. Oh, I see. An empty threat then. That really gets me to work. <laughs> We continued our moderately confusing conversation. We somehow managed to make it to the committee meeting without being late. Ooh, congrats. What a break time. It is quite nice music in this. <laughs> This was the first big event we'd held since we'd started high school. The tea party. Ajaka. Maybe it was because she was still new to this, but the explanation given by the student who had been selected as chairperson was awkward and long-winded. She really is trying her best though, I need to pay attention. I listen closely while taking notes on the main points. Hmm. Uh, next to me, Mia san was utterly lacking in enthusiasm. It's like deja vu, I feel like I'm always watching this scene. I'm begging you, please take this seriously. I wanted to get onto her, but the chairperson was still talking, so there's no way I could interrupt her. That's when you give her a good kick in the shin. Stomp on her foot. <laughs> Tickle her side. <laughs> I'm not advocating for you doing any of that at school. Wink. I can't wink. Why can I not wink? Gosh darn it, VC face, I cannot wink. <laughs> so, that's all I have to say. I feel we should have a discussion to decide what we do next. Do any of you have any thoughts you'd like to share? And silence. Well, I couldn't say anything because of how quiet the room had gotten. Does nobody have any thoughts? Hmm. Chairperson looked troubled. Didn't anyone have anything to say? Uh, we weren't getting anywhere like this. Uh, um, I I'd like to say something. Hi, Hi, there's no glass, correct? Please share with us. Uh, 
I'm Azumi Riza from the Snow Class. Do we have any informational packets describing how last year's tea party went? If we had those, we could at least use them for reference. And they might help guide the conversation too. Well, the tradition is for the freshman class to come up with their own way of playing host each year. So what the students from previous years have done isn't information we have available to us. We're on our own, sorry. Rip. I see, so it's something of a freshman invited passage. That makes sense. So that I meant they had to come up with something on their own. Totally from scratch. This is gonna take a long time. Ah. After that, other thoughts and opinions trickled in, but ultimately, no significant decisions were made. That was essentially how the meeting ended. Not to mention the Asan. <sighs> Not only did she space out through the whole thing without offering any input, she actually kept the whole thing off by yawning. Hey, Mia-san, wait! After the meeting ended, I hurried to catch Mia-san as she tried to go home. What is it, Lisa-san? The meeting is over. This is about the meeting. I'm not taking this seriously enough. We just sat there the whole time, not saying anything. We even yawned at the end. It was out of my control. Honestly, it was so boring. Nothing but a waste of time. At yeah, this rate, I would have rather stayed in the rear garden drinking tea. How can you? It's a committee meeting. You need to take it more. In that case, perhaps you should have nominated someone who would take this more seriously. Risa-san. Well, I... My plan was looking like an utter failure. At any rate, for my part, I believe my duties have been completed for the day. I hope you won't be asking anything further of me. But... but I wanted to say something back, but... And figure out how to respond. It was true that I was the one who had roped me and signed into being my partner without her consent, but uh, I was hoping once she'd been chosen that she would actually put some effort into it. Well, starting next time, you better start taking this more seriously, Mia san. Uh, Turned around and left, not hearing any reply from her. <sighs> Jeez, this is off to a pretty rocky start. All I was left with were major concerns about whether we could actually pull off the tea party at this rate. And that our predictions seem to be coming true. Every day we assembled for our meetings, and every day, gosh darn, held discussions. Time and time again, no meaningful ideas were offered. Conversations didn't seem to lead anywhere. 
Anybody have any thoughts? Once again, the classroom sad in total silence. See, that kind of like community approach works for some projects with some people, but yeah. <laughs> right now, it seems you need someone with a spy in the backbone just to go, you do this, you do that, you do that. You know. ABC, you start making some tea. You can make it for every single meeting we approach so you can practice and then we can all give you feedback. You, you and you start acquiring some maid outfits for us to wear. You, you and you start getting decorations, you know, you can start making them. <laughs> uh, but now I'm deciding to do it all by committee. <laughs> ah. I've spent all this time thinking about it, but I just can't come up with any good ideas. Never had any personal interest in tea parties, so I've never actually attended one. It's probably not like the usual kind where you just provide tea and snacks and say, help yourself. Homemade snacks were a particular specialty of mine, so when, if those would suffice, I could provide as much as we needed. Offer it up, girl. Or even better yet, bring some in the next day. There's no way it'll be some kind of intimate affair like that, though. Just setting up the venue will probably take hours. The more I thought about it, the more I realized I had no idea where to begin. What if we were to at least order the tableware for the event? The budget is already fixed, so we're planning to use tableware furnished by the school. Well, what about the tea? This is a special occasion, so we should order something fancy. Each person has their own particular taste in tea, don't they? How many kinds do we have to order? I mean, <laughs> in Britain you just do builder's tea. Budding, budu, easy. Have some sugar, have some milk as options. <laughs> Uh, well, that's your options, everybody. You can have tea, milky tea, sweet tea, sweet milky tea, that's it. <laughs> uh, more importantly, what about the flowers to decorate the assembly hall? Yeah. Uh, see, this is why you should be subletting to the other, you know. <laughs> I'm assuming. If this is anything like a normal Japanese school, I mean, it's a rich person one, so it might not be, but you're going to have a, a flower arranging club, or at least a gardening club. You can, you, can, you know, requisition out to them for a set of flowers, everybody. <laughs> That's what I'd do. Every time it seemed like we were about to make some progress, it always ended up like this. We still didn't have a solid plan for how to host the event. Uh, I glance at the seat next to me. Miyasan was clearly annoyed. I get the feeling she's thinking, why do I have to be involved in this fruitless discussion? That's what it looks like. Uh, hey, Miyasan! Not saying a word, she suddenly rose from her seats. All conversation in the room came to an abrupt halt, and everyone's eyes were focused on her. I cannot tolerate any further waste of time. Hey, but Mia-san, what, what, what are you, Mia-san? And with that said, she turned and left the room.
I wanted to chase after her, but couldn't in front of the other astonished committee members. I apologize for our class rep's behavior. All I could do was apologize profusely. Dun, 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 you, Mia san. What an idiot. Ah, she was the absolute worst. <laughs> She's smiling. Hey, Mia san. Do you care to explain your behavior at the committee meeting yesterday? <laughs> Angry, angry visa sound. It was lunchtime. She'd been absent from class since this morning, and I interrogated her the moment I found her. She drank tea from a teacup that she bought from who knows where, totally unconcerned with me. How is this possible? How can she be so calm and collected? Hmm. A teacup, then. Looks really expensive. Actually, it looks really cute. It's like some kind of fairy tale design. Like it really catches your eye. Where on earth did she get it? <laughs> That's how she's gonna get out of this. Like freaking magpie. Just bring a shiny thing and then no trouble for you. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Risa san, you're staring as though something has grabbed your interest. What the hell kind of noise is that? <laughs> oh no, could Mia san have figured out that I have a habit of collecting cute things? And so does she. You, you are the cute thing. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, would you like some tea? I'll prepare some for you right away. <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 wait. Somehow she misunderstood my interest. I breathed a sigh of relief. Honestly, do you realize how bad things were after you left the yesterday? I had to keep apologizing to all the other committee members and apologizing and apologizing. Oh, that was inexcusable on my part. Please forgive me. Jeez, that apology sounds about as empty as they can get. It's all because you clam up as soon as something inconvenience is here. I knew Mia san couldn't care less as far as his tea party was concerned, but. <sighs> she would just cooperate a little bit. Oh, what was that, Lisa san Uh, yeah, it, it was nothing. We have another meeting today, and I'd appreciate it if you'd stay to the end. Yeah, you can hear what I was saying. I knew there was no in this time to cooperate. Right about now, she's probably thinking of ways to give me the slip so she could skip this afternoon's classes. I will consider it. Don't just consider it, I want you to actually do it. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Yes, I understand. And I also want to see you in class this afternoon. I will consider. No, I'm 
Tell me to be there if you'd like. We can head back together, right? Huh. Don't know when it happened, but Mia Sano quietly slipped away. Cheeky little bugger. <laughs> She's managed to pick up her tea set. I am not a child. I can find the classroom on my own. Not so fast. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? I will go, just not right at this moment. <laughs> But oh, wait, Amir-san, uh, now she's gone. I let her get away again. She could be the hasty retreat when she wanted to. I'll be in real trouble if she doesn't come to today's meeting after what happened yesterday, though. Although, with rumours about the transfer student who bailed on the committee after not doing any work, started going round. She would be the one who would be in trouble. Even so, it's hard to imagine anything getting to Mia-san. And with that... It all looks like she actually went. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for coming and watching, everybody. Uh, certainly going to be a few more episodes of this, but this is the end of today's one. So yeah, you'll be watching the dragon Shimmering Shadow. <laughs> GP Dragon form Shimmering Shadow, and yeah. Till next time, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.